I love Italian. This is Italian white bread. I love Italian white bread. Nice and fresh. Yeah, you're not having that. You're having this, so. What? We're here at Panera on 4th Street in St. Petersburg. It's an outback, it's a Panera, a glazing place, financial advisor, and a food store. So we are here because we're buying this place, hopefully at like a six and a half, six, eight cap. We need to inspect this place 100% so that we know every skeleton in the closet can't be no hidden things because I don't want to hear my dad saying you didn't know about that okay you didn't know about this you didn't know about that so I got to be my ass out here today and find everything about the property today because we're closing on this thing probably in 10 15 days this is a quick find quick buy and we got to move quickly and that's how we got the deal because we move quickly uh, so now we're out here quickly inspecting the place to make sure everything's okay Bonus and Julio I'm here today. Yeah, I brought Mike to get me water. That's what he's here for. No, Mike knows about retail. He's in construction. He's, he's, he's done build outs for me. He knows roofs. He knows electrical system. He knows about EFIS that I don't know about. And I need my team. Without my team, I don't know shit. You know, I'm learning every day. See that sprinkler right there? The cup's missing around it. It's indented. That's a violation fire code. Mm. It's common, people don't pay attention to it, but it means something. Because when the fire inspector comes through, that's the first thing he's going to do is look at these sprinklers. He's going to make us take that towel down and put a cup around it. Even though the tenant is responsible for everything inside this place, you know, we still have to double check everything and make sure that we look at everything because if this tenant moves out, then we're going to be responsible for releasing this place. So any defects that are here right now, we have to make sure we know about because this lease is coming up to expire soon. So we need to know if something's defective inside this building because if we have to go release it, then we're going to have to fix it and deliver it to a new tenant. To go in and look at, and look at every single square inch of this place. We have to look at the fire rooms. We have to look at the elevator rooms. We got to look inside every Every office, inside every bathroom. What's, what's cooking? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are you guys scared to get in the elevator? Come on, come Barbie. on, show a burger. Here. Eleven. We're not even near capacity. We can do double this. Oh, there we go. We can do 15 people in here. I don't think 15 people are fitting here. I got it. Go. Oh, that was my weapons. Oh, oh your nuts? First thing I see with the roof is that I hear creaks in it, which means the underlayment might be a little bit loose. But that doesn't mean that it's leaking, it just means that it might be a little loose. It's flat mark, but it's got a good pitch. See, now this is the beginning of delamination. The roof starts failing. So it already had a patch on it. So you got to identify these type of issues, these bubbles immediately, cut them out, and put a new patch on it so that it seals to the underlayment perfectly. We're gonna get our roofer out here to find out exactly if the roof's good. We're gonna do a core test. This is a key thing that we do on roofs. Basically, the roofer comes in, he drills down into the core of the whole roof, makes a hole in it, then you get to see all the layers of the roof. You get to see if anything is wet. He's gonna tell us what this roof is made out of, how long he thinks it's gonna last. Where the hell's my pro forma? <laughs> $5,300,000. That's what we're paying for this place. It's gonna net us about a 6.8 cap. Can anybody tell me in the comments what's the NOI on this place if I'm paying 5.3 million and it's gonna get me a 6.8 cap? Comment below, tell me, I'll see if you're right. Show me the parking lot I didn't know we were coming with. It was coming with. <laughs> oh, there you go. That would be nice. Oh, yeah. Who owns the problem. hole in the parking lot? Are you going to put a hot tub in there? Or something? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Well, I got car, we got car damage from it. I'm, I own the, I got I somebody, from the upstairs. Yeah, okay, I got somebody coming in. Three weeks. I got somebody coming really? to put some yeah, stuff yeah, in. Yeah, three weeks. The worst, the worst, I hope the new owners, you guys are new owners, are better than the old owners and better property managers because they're completely unresponsive so far. Okay. All right, so hope, hopefully it'll improve. He put the water cooler there. I like that guy. That guy I like already. I like him. He's no bullshit. He'll get along good with us. 
Because we don't play that bullshit, non-responsive and all that. You call my cell phone, I'm here. Go, go give me six, seven bags, of, throw it in the back of the Maserati, and we'll be done with this shit in ten, ten minutes. We can be, fill this hole. I'd be shocked if they would, if they would push back hard on this. This is. I would, first of all, it's a tripping hazard. Yeah, Some, no, there's all somebody comes out of there ability. drunk and right. walk across there. Okay? They're <laughs> gonna sue lot. you. Let's go look at the parking lot over there. The lawyer will eat that shit up, up there. Those, see the drains? Yeah. There's, there's water getting in that wood. So, and like I told him. The district manager of Outback, or the regional manager, when they come here, they shouldn't have to ask the landlord to fix that. That should be fixed. So we I'm, have to replace that stuff? It's exterior. It's you. Mm. All right. That's easy fix then. Yeah. And Julio did all the underwriting on this place for me. Okay, so Julio knows the numbers on this place. He knows what we did, what we perform it out for, what we said, is this in the budget? Did we miss anything? So now that he's heard the whole conversation about everything and be going through the manager, now we'll go back to the office, we'll sit down on our pro forma, we'll make sure every last cost that we didn't know was in there from the package that the broker gets, gives us. We didn't see all the costs now that we've talked to the manager. We know what costs we have now we can go home and put those into our pro forma and make sure it's still a 6.8 cap i think this one's 6.8 i got too many deals mixed up in my head this one's a 6.8 you're going to get a better cap rate on this one because the leases are expiring soon so panera has an option but they don't we don't know if they're going to take that option outback has an option but we don't know if they're going to take that option so we're getting a higher cap rate on this place because there's a chance that all these people could move out so that's another reason why we're here making sure that everything is 100 percent because if we got to release these spaces we need to know about them and that's pretty much all you need clean title phase one survey roof inspection electrical inspection and now you know your asset is safe. It's going to be there for a long time. Then you get insurance in case a catastrophe happens, like a fire or something like that. Once you got all those safeguards in place, then you should feel comfortable buying this asset. I feel like this is going to be a good property. It's in an awesome location. I mean, you got a lake behind you. You got brand new condos. This is what people want. They want to go to Panera. They want their croissants. They want their coffee. They want their big ass steaks in the afternoon. This is what they want. And they're millennials, goddammit, and they deserve it. I hope. I and I hope they're just because he's a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys tell me I'm out here sweating my balls off I brought Rafal with me today to teach you guys something to show you guys something let me know if you like this type of comment or do you want to see my dad out here picking on me and yelling and cussing that might be the thing I like it too sometimes I watch it so it's pretty funny but I figured today we get out here and show you you know some some nitty-gritty of real estate and show you some some tips and tricks on how to buy and purchase triple net real estate so that's what we're here today like or comment subscribe do whatever you got to do but let us know what you think about today's video if it sucks I won't do it again I don't give a shit I, I got real estate to do I, I'm just doing this because you guys want it you we need to teach you guys all right before that is C I G dash five <laughs> explain what's going on with Matt because we live on the ocean and the salt air and all that plus they, a lot of this shit wasn't that great I'm sorry to say the door mechanisms in this house are half of them falling apart. So <clears throat> we had some guys come over, try to fix and spend some money. But then I said, wait a minute, what brand are they? And I'm sure they were a big company. Let's get them over here because I think we need to start replacing some of these. So I call up and they say they have a 20 year warranty. Matt, get on the phone and use the warranty instead of spending money on people coming over here fixing shit. And now he's on the phone and getting numbers and trying to set up to where we'll get this shit fixed and maybe they'll eat it. Because if they don't eat it, I'm gonna let it be known that their product, as fancy as they claim it is to be, ain't that goddamn great. But anyway, so he's working on the warranty shit to get all these damn doors fixed that are all tightened up and locked down. Locked down. Now, we will not be going out for lunch today because Carla decided to cook lunch. What she's cooking, who knows? What's for lunch today? We're having hamburgers. Hamburger? Yeah. No bread for you. You know, no bread. So how do I eat it? With a fork? You got a whole loaf of Italian bread here. Look at that, baby. Ooh, I love Italian. This is Italian white bread. I love Italian white bread. Nice and fresh. Yeah, you're not having that. You're having this, so. What? What the hell is that, a fucking taco? I'm not eating this shit. Yeah, you are. 
Plant power sandwich dins? How about a bagel thin? No. That's fair. No. You gotta learn to compromise. Yeah. If the whole world would compromise, the world would be a perfect place. Look yeah. at this. This is what you want me to eat a burger on. Yeah. Is it cheese flavored? It looks like it. Yeah. It's, I'm not eating it. What's the latest news on the warranty on fixing these doors that are fucked up? You're not gonna like it. I never like it. So these people built a house in 2015, your doors are from 2009. What? That's what it's saying. Bullshit. That's when they made them? They still got 20 years. That's still 2000. Yeah. What? Yeah. Glass has 20 years. <laughs> you know, Matt, you got no good fucking news. <laughs> Man, that's bullshit. These doors He's can't be that old. He said that they're probably gonna have to. These are custom. There's no way that they sat around and made this shit before the house was designed. That's what I just told him. So I don't have to pay shit. a fee just to get them to come out here and do an inspection. Motherfuckers. And then they'll go from there. But he's gonna give me a price right now. It's been over at uh, that little house you built at 1700 Gold Boulevard. Hey, do me a favor. You know, all the locks are falling apart in this place, so we're on the phone with Anderson. They claim that all this stuff was made in 09. Is that possible? So what's the story, Matt? Uh, it's <laughs> $310 for them to come out here. We have to pay it today to get on the schedule. Just do it. Get them over here. Pay the goddamn extortion. Everybody wants cheese. Everybody wants bacon. What about your housekeepers? You got enough for them? You sure? Because I can eat something else. What about tomato on your burger, Ben? No, thank you. I'm trying to cut down. Tomatoes have a lot of sugar in them. That's a lot of vitamins, too. Do I look like I need vitamins? Yeah. Look at this stupid thing. <laughs> Two potato pancakes. But it's not potato, it's plant. Potato's a plant. The burger, the cheese, and the onions are great. But you gotta screw it up with this goddamn shit. Panera bread was a lot of dough. Why, don't you read the newspapers? Did you see the article on it? it? What did it say? But you have to explain the... I gotta explain. The numbers, the numbers. All right, the clock was ticking. The 1031 clock was ready to go. Ding, time's up, but... No. Oh, that's my bad fucking hand. What do you want to know? You want to know the numbers on the deal? I'll tell you the numbers. I ain't got nothing to hide. Matt, give me the numbers on the uh, 4th Street property. Buyers and sellers combined closing statement. Summary of buyer's transaction. Summary of seller's transaction. It's split in half. The buyer, the seller, all right? We paid five million three. The settlement charges came to $35,000. Gross amount due, this plus this equals this. I own $5,335,186.50. Escrow deposit from exchange. I had $500,000 left in exchange money. And typically, the reason why I only had that much left is because I only really needed to spend two million and I spent five, I went over. So therefore, we're gonna do a reverse exchange on part of it. We got county taxes. These are credits. So I had a deposit down. They got to give me credit for the first year of the, uh, you know, the first part of the year of taxes that he owned it. I got to get a credit for that because I got to pay the tax bill for 2021 at the end of 2021. So he gives me the part that he ran up on the tax bill and then I'll pay the difference. Security deposits, $20,400. We all know what that is. Tenants got security deposits. May rent. May 3rd through May 31st, it was prorated. So we received all the rent that he collected at the beginning of May. He gave us credit for that, of 42,155.83. What else we got here? My lawyer stuck it to me for 15 grand. Title insurance was 15 grand. I talked to my lawyer. He's getting kind of expensive there. Because, you know, lawyers make money on title insurance, all right? They buy it cheaper than we do. Why? Because that's the game. That's the racket, baby. Don't ask me. I'm not a lawyer. Survey, $2,100. Entity setup. Couldn't throw that in for the 15 grand. Give me a break. You know, yeah, you know. Uh, his lawyer charged him 25 grand. These lawyers are making a racket. All right. So what else you want to know? People want to know, like, how much you're going to make on this. We make nothing. We're just buying it because we ain't got nothing else to do. 
We bought it for five million three. <coughs> we bought it because we were told and believe that it's going to give us a six and a half cap, three hundred forty-four thousand five hundred dollars a year. Five million three times eighty percent. We're going to have a loan on it for four million two hundred forty thousand dollars. I know I'm going to get it for two and a half percent. That's one hundred six thousand dollars a year in interest, and I'm going to get interest only. We said the property is going to make three forty-four minus one hundred six equals two hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars. We're going to get two hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars a year in income. We paid five point three times twenty percent. One million sixty thousand is going to give me two hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars a year. One million sixty thousand thousand a year. Shit, that's like more than twenty percent. All right, give or take. I got a cushion there at twenty percent. All right, if you get, if you're at, you get more than twenty percent, you're a greedy. You know, twenty percent is, is is good. That's the story. Simple, clean. If the purchase price is a million dollars and you got a six and a half cap. You get $65,000 a year in income. Now, you go out and use most of the bank's money at, all right, I get really great rates, but even if you get a four, you're still gonna be making 15% return on your money. That's what you do. That's the only game right now. Everything else is overpriced. You can't buy nothing. And if there is a deal out there, there's a million people bidding it up. So it's not a deal anymore. You're buying triple nets. Would you buy triple net outside Florida? You know, if I can't find a deal in Florida and I got to start looking, then I will. If I get desperate enough, I will. If it's an out of the park deal, I will. But I prefer not. I want to be close. Okay? At least a short plane ride away. And we just closed another big one right after that one. I hope you like seeing one of our most current deals. And if you like it, then like it. If you got a deal that you're working on or thinking of putting together, go to benmaller.com, go to consult with Ben, and we'll get on the phone and we'll make sure it's the right deal and the real deal. I'm talking like, you know, helping people out. I got a guy right now, I just put him on the phone with a banker to help him get a loan. Uh, I got a lot of people call me up uh, continuously because I help them and make money and I'm happy to help. We're still waiting for more applicants for the American dream, but you gotta go get FHA approved. We can't help you unless you help yourself first. It's like the 1031. It's a tool, like we're a tool. So shoot the video to us, get your FHA approval, send a copy to Rafal, and let's get you in that new house and stop paying rent. Adios, amigos.